Hey, hello. Hi, friends. I have a tiny little smidge of a book haul for you. For fall break, my family and I went on a little mini vacation in Gatlinburg, and I did end up finding a really cute bookstore there um, with used books and I don't have that book on me because I already, I ended up, the ones that I bought, I already gifted to those people. So I don't have those. But then I found a Books A Million there as well. And I told myself that I wasn't going to get anything because I have a Books A Million at home. But I had to just take a Pixies just to make sure that it was not the same. And they had a Christmas display and I went... A little ham just a tiny bit ham though not like hardcore way ham but like a soft ham i went soft ham is that that's not a thing but it accurately describes what i did so we're gonna go with it but so i have just this tiny little just a tiny little book haul not too big okay so i'll start with one that i started with at home so I got The Fragile Threads of Power by V.E. E. Schwab. I didn't realize it was the newest book to the A Darker Shade of Magic series, which I have not read that series, nor do I own it. So, of course, I purchased book four of a series uh, I don't own or have never read. So there's that. But I own book four. I wonder if I can read this without reading the whole series and if it would still make sense to me. I guess we'll find out or I will purchase books one through three before I read it maybe. I don't know. I might just try to read it and see if it makes any sense on its own. I don't know. But it sounded good and it looks cool. So I got it. There's that. Then when I went to the library, they had some used books on sale for only a dollar. So I got If I Had Your Face by Francis Cha, which the cover alone looks really cool to me, but also it dives a little deeper into the beauty standard in Seoul in Korea. Pretty much how getting plastic surgery is just kind of a social norm there and how consuming beauty is in their culture. But also it goes more into the story of four different young women. One is one is this really beautiful woman that has a spot in like this room salon where it's kind of like an after hours club for really wealthy men. Something that she has done has jeopardized her spot in that room salon. Her roommate who's an orphan wins this full scholarship, full ride scholarship to NYU, an art school in New York. A neighbor who her and her husband end up getting pregnant and there's no way that they can afford a baby. And then a neighbor down the hall is a hairstylist that becomes obsessed with a K-pop star to the point where it drives her to violence. So I thought this one sounded intriguing. It was a dollar. I had to, I had to do it. I had to scoop this one up. And then the last one I got from that dollar sale at the library is The Push by Ashley Audrain. Maybe is that how you say it? This one's more of a thriller. I think it's about like this woman has two children and one of them ends up dying, I think. And she suspects that the other one pushed the child to their death, I think is how that goes. Um, I heard that this one was really good. Um, I don't know too much about it. I think that basically it's this couple and they have a daughter. The daughter can tell something is wrong. I mean, the mother can tell something's wrong with the daughter, but then she thinks that maybe it's just all in her head and she's just imagining it because she's not as close to the daughter as the husband is. But the more that she brings it up to the husband, he says that nothing's wrong. She's just imagining things. So then she kind of just writes it off as like her own parents paranoia but then um, she ends up getting pregnant I think things continue to escalate with the daughter that it really makes her start to question her own sanity and then they have the son and I think something happens to the baby and she I'm pretty sure that the baby ends up dying and she thinks it's the daughter that did something that pushed the child to their death I believe is what that's about I'm not too sure it was a dollar I heard it was good I got it. And then the next part of this little haul is the Christmas books that I got. Because you know it's 
not even Halloween yet. And I haven't even finished my fall TBR. So of course I should be purchasing Christmas books. So I did. So let's see what I got. All right. So the first one I have is Faking Christmas by Carrie Winfrey. Doesn't that look cute? Doesn't that cover look cute? I love it. Look at the little snow globe. So cute. All right. So this one, I couldn't even tell you what it's about, but I'm happy to own her. That's all I know. So I think it's about, so this girl gets a job as like a marketing person and she got the job based on a false illusion. Um, when she went to the interview, when she was interviewing for the job, he said, you know, there's a lot of people interviewing for this job. And um, one thing is that how good are you with social media? You would have to manage the social media as part of the marketing. And she's like, oh no, I am completely qualified for that. I already run marketing on social media. Here's the page that I run and it's her twin sister's page for her farm. And he just assumes that it's her page, but he absolutely loves loves it because not only does it show her experience and that she is qualified for the job through marketing with social media, but also that it's going to bring a whole new insight to this column that he wants to run because they only um, cater to a certain demographic, but she's going to be bringing in this whole other edge to her because, or this whole other insight to her because she lives on a farm and he's wanting to bring in and also the rural demographic. So that's something that she could bring to the table. So he just offers her the job on the spot. So then she feels like, oh, well, I can't correct him now because he's already offered me the job. Well, then one day she gets herself in a predicament where she's consoling her boss because his wife just left him. And so he kind of invites himself. Like she's just talking about how she has to have, get Christmas, get the farm ready. She almost she has to get the farm ready for her family for this family Christmas tradition that they have and then the boss kind of invites himself so now she's thinking oh I have to put up this whole charade to show that I'm not a liar because I really can't afford to lose this job showing that I you know I got it all based on the lie so now not only do I need to bring the boss to the farm but now I have to pretend like the farm is mine and the kids and the family are mine and then while she's there her rival is there and so Somehow, of course, they end up in a predicament where now the rival is pretending to be her husband. So then now they're in this like fake dating type deal, I mm, fake marriage type deal. And then of course you you have to throw in a snowstorm so that they're all stuck there in this snowstorm. And I'm pretty sure there's probably gonna end up like a one bed trope too. So you know we're gonna have all all of the good things in this one. So that one sounds super fun. Next I got A Holly Jolly Ever After by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. I haven't, um, I haven't hauled it yet. I purchased it, but I haven't hauled it yet. I haven't filmed that haul video, but I've previously purchased another Christmas book. Their, their previous, their last Christmas book that they wrote. So I don't know if it's a continuation of the same story or if they just write Christmas books together. But, um, uh, so I do have the other one. So since I have the other one, because let me tell you, Books A Million had like a whole thing of Christmas books and I had to refrain and only I couldn't, my bank account is a hater and she would not let me purchase them all. And so I did not purchase them all. So I only purchased six of them, which I don't even think was half. And I decided on this one because I have the other one. And just in case it was a continuation or just in case I really liked the other one, I don't know. But to me, that was logic that I own the other one. So then now I have to purchase this one right? That's, that makes sense, right? So anyway, so that's why that's, that, that solely is the reason why I picked this one, but she does have a really cute cover and I'm sure she's going to be fantastic. I don't know what she's about. <laughs> so it does sound really good. Okay. So it's about this guy. So it's about the main character used to be in a boy band you know, once he retired from the boy band, he moves to the small town, opens up a pizzeria that he named Slice Slice Baby, and he's just living his best 
life with his dad bod banging can i say that hooking up with bridesmaids at all his friends weddings when someone ends up leaking a sex tape from one of his hookups and it goes viral and so he kind of seizes the opportunity he uses that moment to then get his 15 minutes of fame back and strike while the iron's hot and um, ends up doing some like sexy Santa Hallmark type movie. And then for the opposite, it's going to be his co-star in the movie is this child star or this actress that she always did really well for herself. She had a stable acting career, felt like that she did life the right way she ends up divorced and now she's like trying to figure out where to go from there pick up the pieces and then she ends up landing the role in this steamy christmas movie they try to build chemistry for the movie and even try to work on it off screen things just start to get steamy from there i'm like all over the place so then the former boy band mate actually um has had a crush on winnie ever since he was a teenager and as they try to build this chemistry between each other for the movie then things start to get steamy off screen as well i believe is what this one is about so it sounds fun I don't think it has to do anything with the first one. I don't think that they're connected or that you have to read one or the other, but that's okay because I own them both and I don't know what the other one's about either. But this one sounds really fun and this one's hardcover. All the rest of them are paperback. Not that that mattered, but just a tidbit to point out. So then the next one I have is The Xmas Holidays by Zoe Allison. Another cute wintry cover. I just think that baby blue and pink and red really go well together. It's, it's a good combo. I'm digging it. I'm here for it. This one's about our main character, Maya. Um, right now, life's pretty much of a hot mess for her. She just left her high paying job. She just ended her long term relationship. So she ends up stopping at a friend's party to kind of take her mind off of things. And then when she walks in, she sees the guy that broke her heart eight years ago, serving drinks at the party naked. <laughs> And then um, also she ends up back at her job as a ski slope instructor and she works side by side with again the guy that broke her heart that she saw serving drinks naked and apparently that's like his side gig. His primary job is the ski slope and the ski instructor and then he has that side gig to help his friend pay for something. He ends up having to be face to face with her after she saw him at the side gig, as they're working side by side, they end up rehashing what they went through in the past and then kind of learn that, that maybe they both, they kind of both realize like some mistakes that they made in the past that led to their breakup, kind of get this second chance at romance. So that is well, the Xmas holidays. Next one I have is a December to Remember by Jenny Bayless cute cover again loving it gives total cozy vibe and this one is about three sisters that aren't really close and they didn't really know their father too well now he's passed away and they've been called back to the reading of his will but once they get there they find out that he's actually set up this series of hoops that they have to jump through to be able to then get their inheritance and two of the three sisters are very desperate for money so they really need this to work out for them and so it kind of just brings these three sisters back together as they are on this adventure together back in their hometown some place that they've been away from for a long time this one to me sounds like a good time it sounds like it's going to kind of get them to bond with each other and find themselves and maybe some coziness of a small town who knows but it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun there's that one the next one I have is the Christmas Orphans, the Christmas Orphans Club by Becca Freeman. 
This one's about two best friends that have spent every Christmas together since they met in college. It, their names are Hannah and Finn, and Hannah's parents passed away, and Finn's um, just disowned him, so they didn't really have any family of their own, so they've found family in each other and have spent every Christmas together since they've met. Once they start their adult life in New York City, they end up meeting two more best friends, Priya and Theo, that they end up bringing to their group. So they kind of have like this own family that they have formed themselves. Finn ends up announcing that he actually has got a job offer in LA and has to move. And so now it feels like their family that they've created for themselves is going to end up breaking apart once Finn moves. That one sounds good. I really like books that take place in New York. I don't know why. I've never been, so I don't know, but I really like friend stories also that like um, a group of friends in New York. Like I absolutely love How I Met Your Mother. I love friends. So that alone suckered me into getting this one, but also putting a Christmas spin on it sounds like a wonderful time. So I can't wait to read that one. This is the last one of the haul and it is Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. Loving the baby blue with the red. So this one's about a main character named Melody and she is the daughter of music royalty, but she's always kind of avoided the limelight and avoided like a life of fame. So she has her own quiet little life where she just restores old books. But then she ends up having a producer that reaches out to her and offers her a lot of money if she can get the group back together on a reality TV show. It's too good of an offer that she can't turn down, but also gives her an excuse to come face to face again with the lead singer's son, Beat, that when she was a teenager, she had a thing for him maybe she had a thing for him when they were teenagers this could also give her a great excuse to see him again because if anybody could get the band back together it would definitely be him so she knows she's going to need his help so she had a crush on him when they were teenagers but then now that she's an adult once she sees him again things are a lot more intense this time around. So the story just kind of goes along with this adventure that she sets out on teaming up with with a guy that she has feelings for and all of the things that they get into trying to get the band together and also not just trying to get the band together but overcoming whatever scandal it was that broke the band apart to begin with. So that's what this one's about. It sounds like a good time to me. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. It doesn't look like that. Um, it doesn't look that long. Oh, well, it's 350 pages. Well, see, some books surprise me. Like they look a lot smaller, but then I have this other library book that looked ginormous and it was like 450 pages. So it wasn't as big as I thought. But anyway, that one sounds like a good time. That's, the, that's all for the Christmas haul, but it's also the end of the haul. It was just a little mini haul. I'm telling you, it wasn't much at all. I don't know if this can count as um, part of my book haul, but so I had a Kindle that I didn't get it wet. I don't know what happened. I was just in the pool with my Kindle and then I put it down on the float and I don't know if it got wet but if it did it wasn't much that got wet no it did get wet it did get wet yeah because I remember I was shaking water out of it but anyways um that that Kindle completely broke and then when I didn't realize that when people I don't know if that would have even covered it though but anyways so my last Kindle broke I don't know what I did with it I had it on the float in the pool um it did get wet but it didn't get like submerged in water so I didn't think it was gonna be that bad but it, it was really hot to the touch too but anyways it was completely dead and I was like a couple weeks past the warranty not that I know if warranty would have even covered it but it didn't matter because it's past so I got a new one during Amazon Prime Day and so I got this sexy green one isn't that gorgeous but yes yeah, so I don't know if that counts as part of the book haul but man she is beautiful I love her but that is all that I have for my little mini book haul. I hope that you are having a wonderful reading day, week, month, whatever it is, all of the above for you, and that you are finding wonderful books and maybe even finding some good Christmas books for you. But thanks so much for watching.